Hello folks, Kaz here from Blockhead UK. This is my pit stop Dynamock for Blockville's growing Ninjago district. On the ground floor, the city pizza van, set 60150, sits on the quayside with its wheels removed, selling pizza to anyone who might want to stop for a bite to eat along the canal. Next to the van is the booking kiosk for Magenta Boat Rentals, run by Bert the Ageing Rocker. The pit stop diner itself is on the upper street level. It started life as the Friends Drifting Diner, set 41349, but I have made some significant additions and modifications from my own bricks to bring it to the full width of the base plate and make it fully enclosed. On the roof is a tiny apartment for the mad cat lady who owns the diner. Let's take a closer look at each floor in detail. The racing car from the drifting diner set provides a nice 3D sign which balances precariously on the oddly shaped apartment. I acquired the two large train nose pieces in a bulk lot and have been wondering what to do with them for ages. Underneath the noses, the apartment is small but has all that you need to live modestly including a large chest of drawers with pots of cream next to the toilet, then comes the sink as we move into the kitchen area. It has an oven and a microwave above the worktop. The other end just has room for a single bed, chair and side table with a vase of flowers. The diner itself is double fronted with a 3D burger and fries above the large windows and popcorn carton above the door. The balcony at the front accommodates the landing for the spiral stairs from below. Two more balconies at the rear have tables for two with a view and access for the rooftop apartment via a ladder. The diner is renowned for its award winning ice cream as well as serving the best burger and fries in Blockville. Let's take a look inside. The diner set came with one large car shaped table and sofa, but I've added two more. I've also used the grill and ice cream dispenser from the original set, plus added a couple of side tables and expanded the counter area. The floor is tiled with grey and white checkerboard pattern to finish off the interior. Moving down to ground level, the pizza van seems to have finally come to rest on the quayside. Nobody is prepared to explain how it got there and being surrounded by water it's a bit of a mystery. But clearly it isn't going anywhere else as the wheels are piled up in a corner. Bert's boats are moored up ready for customers who can book a trip at the kiosk next to the pizza van. It looks like Swampy and Mr Giraffe are contemplating a little trip out on the water themselves. Bert's kiosk earns a few more bucks by advertising the latest movies on the sides while the pizza chef works his magic from the tiny van. In the next Ninjago District update, you will be able to see what this model looks like together with the other Ninjago mocks and official sets, so stay tuned. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel so you can see new content when it is released.